Hi, my name is Rory O'Connor, and today I'll be presenting to you about an Old Spice campaign from 2010 called The Man Your Man Could Smell Like. So, who are Old Spice? Old Spice is a brand of male grooming and body products that range from deodorants to body washes. They are manufactured by American giant Procter & Gamble and have been in the men's hair and body wash industry since the 1970s after shifting their focus from primarily shaving products. Old Spice was purchased in 1990 by Procter & Gamble. However, it struggled with the stigma that it was for old-fashioned men and it was what your granddad would wear. At the time of purchase, Procter & Gamble recognised that they had to completely overhaul their marketing strategy and who their target audience really was. They wanted to aim at kind of teenagers to, to mid-30 males. So what was the problem? A number of factors, but primarily the style of advertising that the Old Spice used pre-2010 lended itself to the image of being for the older generation. The group was not giving the brand the type of returns necessary, and it wasn't sustainable. The the generation that used Old Spice, probably your, your 40 to 60 age, weren't going to be around forever, and they weren't getting new new people involved. They weren't, and they didn't get the youth at the time, and the youth didn't get Old Spice. The lack of innovation and overall spend epitomised the men's grooming and fragrance industry at the time. Um, 2009 was a dismal year in terms of advertising spend across the board in the in the industry. The credit crunch caused significant costs in ad spend and fell 18% just in 2009. But there was a silver lining to all this for Old Spice in that a well thought out advertising campaign could make a significant dent in the market share as no one was doing well at the time. So there wasn't cause for complete doubt in themselves. They just had to keep working towards a new ideal. So what was the answer? So the objectives of the Manual Man Could Smell Like campaign was to change the perception of Old Spice being an older man's fragrance. Um, there are many ways Old Spice could have gone about this, but they chose to use a celebrity endorsement in ex-NFL player and actor Isaiah Mustafa. They also wanted to appeal to the entirety of the public, not just a certain sector. Um, Old Spice recognised that it was not just women, not just men, sorry, that bought the their own toiletries. A study in the UK that was done, 50% of men's toiletries are, are bought by women. So they also needed to appeal to that, that sector with their advertising, which is not an easy thing to do. They also need to appeal to younger men than they were doing and make the fragrance modern and cool and a topic of conversation. Thirdly, they, they needed to steal the show. Uh, main competitors Dove were releasing a campaign at the same at a very similar time and they had to dominate the discussion in terms of men's fragrances. If they didn't, they may be dead in the water. So they had to tailor a strategy and their follow-up strategy to, to achieve and ma achieve the max possible buzz they could in terms of online, in terms of word of mouth. So what did they do? The, the Manual Man Can Smell That campaign launched a few days before the Super Bowl in 2010. That would be a February to, to us English people. Um, so they wanted to create that Super Bowl, Super Bowl advertising impact without having to pay the premium to be on during the game. It was released online on Facebook and YouTube. Because of the early release, the buzz for the, the commercial by the time the game had finished on the day was, was at its climax. It had bypassed any advertisements going on during the game because people were already aware of it. People were already focused on it rather than focusing on the game. By the, end, by the first time it debuted on TV, the conversation had become so much about it that people just assumed it was a Super Bowl commercial rather than something released on online and before the game. They began using their, their own media, their Twitter accounts and their YouTube to, to answer 
answer questions from fans as the character of the old Spider-Man played by Mustafa himself. So this led to a follow-up campaign of, of Mustafa answering fans' questions on YouTube. In fact, Old Spice filmed their entire 180 plus video responses to individuals' questions in one day. So they had so much content to release in a small, small amount of time. And it was filmed actually in Mustafa's bathroom. So the, the price of the advert itself was not high. They found celebrities and influencers to ask some questions, to gain some traction online and in the news, but primarily it was your, your average Joe. 70% of those 180 videos were from people just like you and I. The work appealed both to men and women. Like I said in the previous, the previous statement, 50% of men's toiletries in the UK are bought by women. So you have to appeal to both sectors. And they did that by addressing women in the advert. The advert for a men's clothing brand was based on addressing a woman. The uh, Mustafa addressed the woman by talking directly to them and saying, this is what your man could smell like. He could smell like me. And Mustafa was an ideal and a, a stereotypically attractive man, which appealed to women because he was an attractive man and, and appealed to men because they wanted to be like him. The crucial part of this is it was it was humanizing and modernizing for a brand that everyone thought had stagnated. All of a sudden, everyone was talking about Old Spice and it, it really brought them down to a human level where it, all the advert was was a man addressing the camera, but he was living the lifestyle that he wanted to live. So the theories that they followed, um, the first one would have been the AIDA model, which is characterized by awareness, interest, desire, and action. So the awareness that the brand created, they put the advert online before the Super Bowl and used smart search, op search engine optimization keywords to correlate to searches surrounding the Super Bowl. Their interest they garnered was because the advert itself was amusing and captivating. Mustafa was a charismatic individual and he really persuaded people to get involved in the, in the conversation. The desire, the man your man could smell like, is an ideal. He's an attractive man. He's an ex-professional athlete. He ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of different people in terms of what they want to be or what they want their partners to be, which was the aim of the commercial. And he's stereotypically desirable. His lifestyle, what he looks like, the people he's around. And the action was, it encouraged conversation and interaction. Their follow-up on Twitter was fantastic. They made sure they replied to people and they replied to videos on YouTube and, and, and things of that nature. And it keeps people's attention and develops a brand image, which is very difficult to do. Another theory they followed was symmetrical public relations. Old Spice encouraged communication and they incorporated the communication they were receiving from their audience into further adverts rather than just providing the information that they wanted to provide. They let the audience dictate how they were going to proceed. So an example of this would be a quote from the advert. There was a tweet from a man called Kevin who was suffering from an illness, just, just a, your standard fever. And... Ali, Ali um, Mustafa, as the um, old Spice man, replied, Hi Kevin, how are you? Feeling better, I hope. Personally, I've never had a fever because muscles don't get sick and my body is 98% muscle. Playing a joke with science, obviously, but more to the point, engaging with the audience. So was it newsworthy? In short, yes. Uh, the, the campaign was a massive success. It went viral on the internet. There was so much interaction on Twitter and YouTube that news outlets had to report on it. You can see on the presentation from the New York Times to ABC News, they were all writing news articles in response to it in, in fairly rapid fashion, all in 2010. 
but that newsworthy was like i said was driven by social media from the old spice account to celebrities that were tweeting about it earlier i mentioned ellen degeneres was tweeting about her friend isaiah uh, isaiah mustafa and then she had him on her show which is shown to millions of people around the world how did they utilize their media well they, they had your standard paid owned and earned media but they utilized it in a fashion that hadn't really been seen before especially with their own media their paid media they used a celebrity as i've said previously mustafa was a charismatic likable individual that turned the character into something more than just a, an advertisement um, they also paid for television and cinema commercials before movies which again they didn't m massively invest in seeing it all the time on radios maybe and, and banners and on, on buses and things like that but they didn't have to because their uh, their own media was so successful in generating buzz and talking points that they smashed it out of the park and their own media the word of mouth the retweets the likes anyone getting involved and everyone talking about it is just more publicity for old spice So was PR the right choice? It, it was a balance of uh, a balance of information to and from customers. Public relations play a massive role in what people talk about. They're going to talk about things they are informed about, and when you're informed and look at Old Spice and it's a talking point, you'll get you want to get involved naturally. Celebrity involvement legitimised the product, and there was significant amount of audience reaction interaction. So did they achieve their aims? They stole the show. There's no two ways about it. When you look at the conversation online between male body wash brands on the graph and the presentation, Old Spice got 76% between January and March. Considering the, the advert only came out in February, that's an astronomical amount. Sales went up 125% from the previous year in the same time frame. It's an unprecedented success in the, in the campaign. It generated 1.7 billion total impressions on traditional media and online. And Twitter followers went up to 2,700% from where they had been and their YouTube subscribers doubled. These were all successes that wouldn't have been possible without the campaign going viral and Old Spice exploiting the, the market they found and really running with it. The, the Old Spice man has also informed campaigns down the line with Isaiah Mustafa coming back to reprise his role as the Old Spice Man opposite Terry Crews, another famous face. And as it, they've got a load of free publicity from a campaign that happened now 10 years ago. So thank you for listening to my presentation on Old Spice's The Man Your Man Can Smell Like and I'd be more than willing to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.